In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this train animation with sound effects and smoke. The starting point for this tutorial is the finished file from the Making Scenery tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. In the Outliner window, click the eye icon to unhide the Bezier curve and click to select it. Click the Curves Object Data Properties and scroll down. If the evaluation time is green or yellow, it means the path is animated. Right click and clear keyframes will remove the animation. I'm now going to insert two keyframes to animate the train traveling to the first stop. My rhyme for inserting keyframes is go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame one, I'm in frame one, make change, set the evaluation time to zero, it is zero. Right click and insert keyframe. To insert the second keyframe, go to frame 120, make change, set the evaluation time to 45, 45% completion of the curve, right click, insert keyframe, rewind and play. Pause and rewind. I want the train to stop at the station for 10 frames. So I'm going to go to frame 130 and insert a keyframe with the evaluation time at 45 so that it stays at that value for 10 frames. To insert the final keyframe, go to frame 250, make change, set the evaluation time to 100, 100%, right click, insert keyframe. When the animation is played and it loops around, to make the train stop at the station for 10 frames, set the total length of the animation to 260. Change the layout to video editing. This window normally displays the output from video clips. We're only going to edit sound clips. Our animation is coming from the 3D view. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and change no sync to AV sync. To add sound effects, in the Add menu, Sound, go to the folder where you have your train sound effect. I'll put a link to where I got this one from in the description below and at my website. Select the file, Add Sound Strip. It looks like nothing happened. In the View menu, untick Show Seconds. We now have frame numbers along the bottom of the sequencer. The sound was added at frame 250. If we zoom back with the mouse wheel, we can see the sound clip. In the strip menu, duplicate strips. Move the duplicate up and across and click. The train horn sound is at the end of the clip. I only want the train horn sound, so I want to delete all the sound up to it. To do that, Click the triangle on the left hand side so that it goes white. Drag on the triangle. Once you start dragging, you can release the mouse button. You are in left trim mode. Left trim quite a bit and click. I'm going to use this clip for the normal train sound. I need about 120 frames of sound, so I want to delete the end of the clip. To do that, click the triangle on the right hand side, drag on it to go into right trim mode, move it to where you want and click. To move a strip, click in the middle of the strip, drag, move and click. To place a strip at a particular frame, go to the frame, go to frame 1, select the strip in the strip menu Snap Strips, shortcut key, Shift and S. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and press play.
The horn starts at about frame 50, so we need to fine tune the left trim. Click, drag and left trim to frame 50. Click, play, pause and rewind. The train horn sound is relatively quiet and the normal train sound quite loud, so I'm going to adjust their volumes. Scroll down and set the volume of the horn to four times louder. Select the normal sound and set its volume to 0.6 of its normal volume. With it selected, hold down shift and press S to snap it to frame one. Click on the train horn sound and drag it to frame 25 and click. I'm going to fade the sound as the train comes into the station. To do that, I'm going to keyframe the volume. To insert a keyframe, go to frame, go to frame 110. Make change, select the strip and set its volume to 0.6. It's already 0.6. Insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. To insert the second keyframe, Go to frame 122, make change, set the volume to zero, insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. Rewind and play. The fade is a bit quick, so I'm going to make it longer. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan, control and mouse wheel. Select the handle and press G to grab. We can adjust the volume and the length of the fade. I only want to adjust the length of the fade, so I'm going to press X and make the fade longer. The train horn ends a little abruptly, so being fussy, I'm going to fade the end of this clip as well. The process is exactly the same, so I'm going to jump ahead. I inserted the first keyframe at frame 95 and set the volume to zero at frame 105. Select the strip in the strip menu, duplicate. Move the duplicate up one channel and across to frame 130. Select the strip in the strip menu, duplicate and move the duplicate across. Rewind and play. Click pack to pack the sound effect file into the blender file. Change the layout back to default. To add smoke, select the engine in the view menu, view selected. In the view menu, view front. Drag to open up the outliner window. With the cursor in the 3D view, hold down shift and press D and enter to duplicate. Click the object properties and name the duplicate funnel. Go into edit mode. Click the eye icon to hide the original engine. Select the vertex, press B for B select, drag out a box, press X for delete and delete vertices. Click the limit selection to visible button. Select the vertex, press B for B select, drag out a box, press X to delete vertices. Select B for B select, drag, X, delete vertices. Go into object mode. In the object menu, quick effects, quick smoke. Pressing play, the funnel emitted smoke into the smoke domain, but the smoke domain is not animated. The easiest way to animate the smoke domain is to make the funnel its parent. Select the funnel and before we make it the parent, apply scale. Select the smoke domain, click parent and select funnel. 
in the view menu toggle quad view zoom back in the top right hand corner press G to grab and X for the X direction and move the smoke domain so that in the front view it is over the funnel in the right view zoom back with the mouse wheel press G to grab Y for the Y direction and move the smoke domain so that in the top view it is over the funnel in the front view press G to grab and Z for the Z direction and move the smoke domain down so that a reasonable amount of the funnel is inside the domain click the eye icon to unhide the engine click play now the smoke domain stays with the funnel you may have to run the animation a few times to build up the smoke cache now we have another problem a flat top drag on the button bar to scroll it click the physics button for the physics properties of the smoke domain scroll down to make the smoke disappear before reaching the top tick dissolve and set the time to 12 I'm also going to set the time scale to 1.5 to speed up the simulation rewind and toggle quad view I'm going to append in a model of a platform I made earlier you can make a platform yourself or you can download the file from my website go into the object folder select platform and append make sure the platform is selected click the material button click the browse material button and I'm going to reuse the rail material you can duplicate to make another platform for the other stop but I'm going to append in the second platform and I will need to link it to the material zoom back with the mouse wheel select the ground and change the view to view selected drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view zoom in with the mouse wheel pan up and down shift and mouse wheel pan left and right control and mouse wheel in the view menu align view align active camera to view we lose the mountain to fix that select the camera and set clipping to a thousand zoom in with the mouse wheel press G X and X again to move the camera left and right press G Y and Y again to move the camera up and down press G Z and Z again to move the camera forwards and backwards select the lamp change it to a hemi and set its energy to 0.8 drag on the button bar to scroll it click the render button click presets and select HDTV 720p scroll down and change the file format to XVID in the encoding panel change the audio codec to MP3 decide where you're going to save the video file and give it a name scroll up and click the animation button that's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all files used and the finished file for you to download at my website, a link to which you can find in the description below or by clicking the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.